I started writing my name in 83. I was 14. Compared to certain areas of New York, Amsterdam was much more lawless. So many things were going on with the houses being squatted and there were drugs on the street. And there was a huge scene already with punks and skinheads and other people writing. Like the whole city was literally covered with tags. It looked like nobody really cared. So writing was, was part of that, and the, that opened up this whole world for me, this game, this, this name game. I had several different names before I came up with the alias Delta. I thought it would be appropriate to use a letter from an alphabet as a name. Besides, at that time, I thought Delta sounded cool as a 14-year-old kid. I went with him to New York when he was 16. In the morning, we would go out and uh, go to the subways and sit on the station and watch the train go by. And then Boris says, ah, that's Donny, and that's seen, and that is Futura 2000. But he was excited. And then I knew this is really what Boris is, uh, is doing and so I went to university in 88 to study uh, industrial design engineering, uh, like product design. At one point I was thinking of what would happen if I would take the letters of my name and try to draw them as if they were objects you could actually pick up and play with in your hands. That was a good fusion of like the stuff I did before with what I was doing in school as well. He put this really simple innovation into graffiti that completely changed the whole scape of it. That was simply becoming a dimensional object and treating his letters like they were something that was not a flat object sitting on top of another flat object, but instead a dimensional body. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had seen 3D graffiti before, or rather attempts at it, but this was the first time I'd seen it so perfectly rendered. It looked as though I could just reach out and pluck it from the canvas it seemed notionally attached to. I've always been a fan of graffiti, and I would travel and I would pick up graffiti magazines from all over Europe, and I kept seeing this writer that was doing these 3D shapes uh, and interlocking letters that were different from everyone else. They were turning, they were curving, they were bending, they were dancing, they were doing things, and everybody else's were cool, but they weren't doing that. Delta managed to invent forms and letters belonging to impossible three-dimensional landscapes. It was simply not possible to not understand, but to copy. And that, for me, is really relevant. The fact that uh, nobody copied Delta back then, because it was difficult and because uh, also, I think, was a sign of uh, respect. I liked it always. I, I was always in favor of it. And the main reason is that he's such a very nice person. <laughs> Always very friendly, always kind, and, um, and so, yeah. But what Boris is thinking and doing, it's all right. 